Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we need to talk about a very important thing heading into the League One team of the season. Now officially called the League One Uber Eats. So that's a very interesting name change um, sponsorship going on there with the League One. So that's really interesting. But their team of the season squad is going to be coming out this weekend. I want to be looking at some investments that we can possibly make and talk about some other investments that I think might be a little bit overhyped. There's a couple cards there that I mentioned in yesterday's video, but I want to look a little bit closer at them today. Now, this team of the season is very hyped and it's very important because some of the best players all year that people have been using in teams, that people have been using um, in their squads, that, pe that people have loved to use are Mbappe and Neymar. And a lot of people have these cards in their clubs right now, in their teams, um, just being some of the best cards in the game in terms of, you know, they've got the five-star skills uh, with the, the croquettas and the, um, the flick-ups and the El Tornado crosses. These cards are able to do those skill moves um, and they're just very good in game. And they're very, very popular this year. Um, among FIFA players. So with those, with this league coming out, I am expecting to see an Mbappe team this season card. Neymar is kind of on the edge. He was named into the League One's um, team of the year, their, their season, um, back in the award ceremony uh, about a month ago or so, a couple weeks ago at least. Um, so I would expect that he would maybe get a team in the season card and that would be a major selling point for EA and PAX. So I would think that Neymar is going to get a TOTS card. Now, first of all, first of all, if you have a team of the year version of either of these players, they really haven't dropped too much in price as of right now. And I'm recording this video. Um, I would probably get them out of your club because if you think about it this way, even if the Neymar team, the season card is a 96 rated um, or even a 97 rated and it has less stats. Um, the supply for that card is going to be more than this team of the year. And it's going to be fresh and it's going to be new. And people are going to have a chance to pack that out of untradeable upgrade packs and just by opening packs. So I would expect to see this Neymar to drop. Same thing with Mbappe. Um, all of these Neymars might drop again in the panic leading up to this promo, which is going to be a very interesting thing to watch. Um, because the hype is going to kind of return to the Ronaldo or to the Neymar and to the Mbappe. And obviously there's going to be some other really good cards inside, inside of this team this season. <clears throat> Di Maria should have a really sick card. I know he has a two star weak foot, but his card stats are going to be insane. Um, Cavani might have a really good one as well. I don't know if Awar, Awar is going to get a tots card and Don Bailey could be re-released. Um, and then center backs, uh, I mean, you know, maybe they'll throw in Marquinhos. I don't know about Thiago Silva. Um, but there's going to be some good cards in this team this season. Probably like Thalvin as well. He seems to always get in team this season um, for League One. But again, the things that we need to focus on are PSG and uh, French cards when we're going to look at investments. I forgot to mention Pepe as well. Pepe is definitely getting a team this season card. A lot of people have started to invest in this card as well. Um, and I want to kind of talk about a few of those things. There's some three investments that I think from this kind of the same thing that we're looking at. Other people are looking at the same thing. They're looking at three cards that they think are going to get team of the seasons that are going to rise because the team of the seasons are going to be too expensive. Um, or because those cards are just so heavily in demand and they're needed for linking in teams. And I totally know where people are going with this when they're shouting out Furland Mendy, his FFS card. They're shouting this card and they're out. Oh, they're also shouting the um, Lala. Now I've talked about that a little bit. So many people want to invest in this card. This card is insanely good. I've used him for so much of my uh, in my team this year. He is an incredibly, incredibly beast card. Um, I totally understand why people want to invest in him because he's amazing. I don't know if he's going to get a team this season, though. If he doesn't, that would make him a lot more investable. But as we look at his card right now, let's actually pull him up on Footbend. Um, a lot of these cards haven't really moved too much, uh, but they're starting to just a little bit, and they're going to after rewards. Okay, yeah, he's up about he's up a decent amount, 160. He was 147. Uh, last Saturday. So he's risen up a decent bit heading into te this team of the season. What about Lala? These cards are probably going to be a little bit up when you're seeing this video because it is going to be um, before the 
um, it's gonna be after weekend league rewards. But I think these cards, we, we kind of have to look at the situation last week with Cancelo when we look at these cards again this week. I'm a little bit scared, I'm gonna be honest. They seem like a no-brainer investment, like it's gonna go up, guaranteed. These cards are needed, because think about it. If you're going to link an Mbappe in your team, how are you going to get him that strong link? You're going to throw a lot right back. That's a the easiest way to get a strong link to Mbappe in so many formations that the right wing links to the right back. Now, I do think that Lala probably will rise up to a point, but I th think right now also he's very, very, very heavily invested in. And if he gets a Tots card, people are going to fly to that Tots card. So um, just again, we can look at Cancelo as an example. If you look at what he's done this week, he actually got a team of the season card, and I'm hoping that Lala gets a Tots card because I think this exact same thing is going to happen. Cancelo, we looked at this yesterday, but I want to show you again. Cancelo was low. He got invested in into the hype before team of the season came out, up to 111k. Over invested happens. People sell off their investments. Saturday, he's back down to 100,000 coins. Look where he is now, 124k. Going to go probably 130, maybe even 140 tomorrow. Um, because this card, again, has such a price difference from the team of the season. I really hope that Lala himself gets a team of the season card, which I think he will. That card's going to be insane, as I mentioned yesterday as well. He's going to have all 90 stats except for shooting. If he gets a team of the season card, watch this card's price on Sunday night and Monday. That's going to be the best buy time for this card if he does get a team of the season. Same thing with Furline Mendy. If that if he gets a team this season, watch that FFS card because it's going to there's going to be a panic sell on Monday. People are going to be getting rid of their cards from Weekend League and getting rid of their investments that they were told that was going to go up. Maybe they didn't go up that much, um, but then you're going to see these cards rebound throughout the next week uh, because of the French links and of course these the Neymar and the Mbappe link. So that's what I want to focus on there. They're both French as well. So that helps them out if you want to link to a center mid or a CDM. So I wanted to talk about those two guys and Pepe as well. Um, I like Pepe, but the only problem with him is if Mbappe is a right, mate, a right mid card, it's Nicolas Pepe. If Mbappe is a right mid card and Nicolas Pepe, where's he at? Where the heck is he? What's his base card rating? There he is, 75 rated. If these guys are both right mids and right wings, I don't like this card as much, even though it's gonna have ridiculous stats. Um, it's It doesn't have the the links that the Mbappe will, and Mbappe is very, very, very OP. This card is good. I mean, just because he's had his stats boosted so much throughout the point this year, he's probably gonna get a tots, but I think the Mbappe is gonna be the card that people focus on the most. Now, if Mbappe is a striker, then I think people would pay Pepe at right wing and maybe a uh, Mbappe at striker, left wing, Neymar. That's where people would kind of look to do. But still, um, I don't like Pepe as much just because he's, he's a right wing in the same league as um, Mbappe for that situation. But that doesn't mean that we can't invest in stuff at all. I mean, there's plenty, plenty of opportunities out here on the market other than those cards we just looked at to invest in. Um, obviously, we're gonna be looking at some cards that could get team of the seasons but we're looking for those ones that are gonna rise up in the links um, that don't get team of the seasons as well. Now I wanna talk about Mbappe special cards here for a second. If you look back at the past two weeks, the cards that have done insanely well are the position change cards. Um, one card, for example, we'll go over here to this tab to look, look this one up, Kula Bali's foot birthday card. I invested in a couple of those last week down here at about 114K. Look where he's risen up to 153. I actually sold one. Had the proof, 175,000 coins I sold one for earlier this week. He's just up crazy amounts in price because of that position change. So for Mbappe, I want to look at this left wing foot birthday version card. If you see this, I mean, it's pretty low, 910. It's not the lowest that it's been, but if you check on PS4 as well, it looks like a good price for him on PS4 is around 980. If you can see this card at 980 on PS or at 890, on Xbox, I think that's a huge buy because he's got that posi position change and um, he's a very rare card as well. So these cards have done really well. The foot birthday position change cards, make sure you keep your eyes open for those. And even, actually let me go back to Mbappe, the gold cards out of packs. We're gonna go back to our uh, drawing board here to find an example. We're gonna look at Virgil van Dyke because he is just about as hyped up as Mbappe is in terms of 
what is going on with their cards. And look what happens here. Premier League team of the season starts way back here at the beginning of May. He rises up out of packs, and then the second surge, that second week, this card went from 63k on Xbox to 95k. It went from 73 to 109 on PS. I think the same thing is going to happen with this 87 Mbappe. Right now, he is 70k on Xbox, 78 on PS. You could easily see this card being around 100,000 coins or just under 100,000 coins next Thursday after rewards when the card is out of packs, um, especially because it's Mbappe. He has that extra hype this year. Now, looking through the rest of the list, center backs is kind of a tricky area that I don't know what's going to happen. Um, are they going to throw somebody like Kimpembe in? Will he get an SBC? Um, the center back situation to me kind of seems a little bit in question except for Marquinhos, maybe um, Dante as well, getting a center back team of the season. I haven't really watched League One this year, so I'm basically looking at how many informs the card has <laughs> to base on whether I think it's going to get a Tots card or not. I think I shouted this Monier investment card as well, another position change foot birthday. He is up a little bit on, on, uh, on Xbox, but that's a really good card to buy, I think, as well. PSG, so many people play this card at Striker. And if you actually go look at his card on the market, people get a link to him and um, between him, Mbappe, and Neymar because of the linking opportunities that you have. Putting this guy at striker, he's a very good card, club 80, and you can easily move him to CDM and game. Like look at look at all these cards that are striker or center forward, striker, center forward, striker, striker, striker. There's all of these <laughs> these cards of <laughs> birthday Moynier. He's playing striker because that's where people get him in their teams to get the chemistry that they need. 155, that's not a terrible price. Let's go back here and look at him on Xbox for a second. 150. Mm, what's he been at yesterday? 150, 145, 150. We'll pass on that one, but I'll add it to my transfer targets. He's already on my transfer targets. So we'll watch that card, and if I see 150, I will pull the trigger on that one. But cards like this are going to be great to invest in as well. I would just be careful again, because... Some of the things that we saw last week, a lot of those special cards that we're investing in that are going to rise as people make squads, a lot of them didn't rise right away because I think so many people have team of the season cards in their teams now that they're waiting for the guaranteed SBCs, they're waiting for the weekend league to be done. They're not going out and creating squads around these new TOTS players right away. They're, they're trying some of them out, um, but... Especially last week with the Serie A, those cards aren't very linkable in like every squad. You know, the nation, the nationalities, they're not linkable. I mean, not many people run around with Italian squads. I mean, some people have Cannavaro, but if you want to get a link to Cagliarella with Cannavaro, you're going to have to move him to center mid and then maybe run Cancelo at right back or something like that. It's a lot easier to be linking guys from the League One because they're French. And that's why I also talk to you guys about looking at um, not just players from the League One, but also looking at players from the nationality of France. Pogba, Ben Yedder, Tots. I mean, some of these other Tots cards like Laporte, he's up a bit today. You know, watching some of these cards' prices because you never know what's going to happen um, with some of these. Hugo Lloris, the Carnival at 94K. That is pretty low right there. We're going to go take a look at that card. I, I looked at this card on yesterday's video as well. Uh, because I think it's a pretty, it's the best French goalkeeper in the game. Obviously, before the new Tots cards can come out, um, I'm just gonna snatch that one up and throw it in the club real quick. But even if a French goalkeeper does come out, Yoris still has um, quality. I think he's still gonna have some demand because he is the he's in the Premier League and he's a French goalkeeper. That's a nice green link to a guy like Laporte, but it'll also provide a link to maybe a new uh, French center back in the team of the season. But again, this week, look at the French guys. Make a concept squad. I say this to you guys every week. As you're looking and find some informs, go and look through this, this basically this right here. Just go nationality, French, or League One special cards. And just filter through. Look at cards you think are low and check their prices. Look at their price graphs. But again, I just want to point you guys in the right direction this week. You can actually see some of the cards that I've purchased so far. Um, I haven't purchased a Lacazette, although he is kind of low. 1.3, that is decently low. Some of these Premier League guys that are French as well, and Icons, I think are decent shouts. Um, 
And just because there's going to be a lot of team building again this weekend, I don't think there was as much with the Serie A, um, but I think there is going to be a lot more this weekend just because of the French nationality and how easy it is for people to put some of these cards in their team. I mean, you look at Desa, how many people have Blanc, Petit, or Desailly? So many people have these these cards. I got this Blanc today at a nice deal, 930,000 coins. He's usually chilling around a mil, but on the weekends he sells for 1.1. He might go up another 50 to 60, maybe even 100k this weekend as an uh, Icon Moments card just because of the fact that People need the French links to create some of these squads. This Pogba card was a nice buy this morning. There was a lot of stuff that was low Wednesday morning today on the market. He's now back up to 420, which is nice. Bought that at 385. And I bought some Awars today. 360, which was crazy low for him, but he's kind of been low all day. I'm curious to see if he gets a TOTS card. That could be a decent investment as well. I mean, I mean just look at this card. It's pretty end game if you're going to make a squad with some other, other guys in it. Four star, four star insane stats so um heads up for a re-release on endom bailey as well he is up right now about 290 300 000 coins but if they do decide to re-release his card which i think is a possibility you're going to see that card crash kind of like a situation if you want to reference go back and look at the Tellez card because he was re-released as well and then even cavani cavani should get a tots card uh, but this ucl live is pretty rare on the market and it might see a lot of supply if that um, TOTS card does come out. Because, you know, we've seen the, the crazy su supply that those cards have after their losses in Champions League. So just keep your head on a swivel for that one. But again, just go through, scroll through some of the special cards. You know, guys like Conte, guys like Griezmann, even like an, a Lacazette man of the match. This kind of card could rise this week because it is French. It gets the good links. And look where he was during Premier League, two, 354. Um, and obviously there's a lot of French players in the Premier League, so that, sh that could push up some of those Premier League players again this week um, on the market. So just keep your watch out for that. And of course, use caution when you invest in this stuff. It's not a guaranteed investment. I mean, yes, it kind of is in a sense, but sometimes you have to wait until the next week for a lot of this stuff to go up. And we are going to be heading into ultimate team of the season. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind as well. I do still think the market's going to rise, though. People are making teams. People have tons of coins. There's going to be a lot of packs open this weekend just because of the fact that Neymar and probably Mbappe will both be in packs along with some other insane, insane cards. Um, that's, going to be, that's going to be a fun time, especially doing upgrade packs for those cards as well. And I want to talk about one last thing in terms of upgrade packs. I don't know what is going to be the move for investing in the rare cards. You know, obviously in weeks past, we've invested in the gold rare cards from the nation that is going to be out. And you look at some of these cards already and people are bidding them up like crazy uh, because they're stocking their clubs with them, wanting to go unassigned for upgrade packs. I think they could do something different with League One because there aren't that many special cards in the League One. Or excuse me, there aren't that many gold cards, especially 81 rateds. The move for the League One, if those rare cards are so expensive because there's so few of them, uh, the rare gold cards, the real, the real move for League One might just be going out and buying gold cards um, and doing the lower level upgrade SBC because for that SBC, all you need is gold cards and like a certain amount of chemistry. You can, you can cr craft that SBC for like 5,000 to 6,000 coins, the lower level upgrade SBC. Um, and you're still going to get a rare player from it and two non-rares. So this SBC might be the, obviously the League One variation, but the League One upgrade, if they do release the same SBCs, this one might be the one to spam next week throughout the week because this one literally might be 30k to complete with all those cards being so rare. The League One rare cards, you know, the 81 or the even there's so many that are 81 or above. There's not very many that are 81 and above, excuse me. And there's just not very many in total. So I'm interested to see if EA actually puts out a different upgrade pack or if they just don't even think about it, drop the same packs, and then the 81 plus upgrades end up costing 30K. What you can do then here, you know, 30K, if that costs 30K and this costs 6K to do, you can do five of these packs, have a chance of packing a team this season, and still have six rare players at minimum to put back into the 81 plus SBC. 
and you're almost you're, you're halfway on the, your way to an 81 plus upgrade that might be the best way to craft next week is to buy the the non-rare golds at basically discard value they probably will go up a little bit but buy them for 500 600 coins do a bunch of those SBCs. Um, obviously you can do more of them then because of the fact that they are cheaper and then craft those SBCs um, and then go into the 81 pluses using your rares and then hit those for a higher chance of team of the season. So that might be the best way to craft the SBCs next week. Hopefully we get some sick SBC players as well. Um, they've been doing pretty well with these, with these SBCs um, considering, you know, some of the players they could have had premier league they could have done a lot better for but since then they've done really well with the mertens with the alexandro i would ex i would assume that the same kind of hype and intensity would stay there for the league one so it's been a long video already i will stop talking at you guys if you enjoyed it smash a thumbs up on it any questions drop them down below it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out